Hello everyone, so I thought that I would do some mini vlogs and videos um, this month. This is my favourite time of year and I thought that I would, I didn't want to commit too much to doing something like Vlogmas because my life is just so boring right now. Um, and I didn't want to kind of put extra pressure on myself but I definitely wanted to try and film some cute little Christmassy vlogs and I feel like I've got so much to show you guys like house updates um, so yeah so I don't really know how this is going to go it might be uh, a couple of vlogs here and there not really sure um, but let's play it by ear but my plan is to kind of upload some vlogs alongside this month so this is going to be the first one so it is saturday today um henry's at work and my plan today is to have a good clean um i also want to show you guys the living room because we decorated the living room about six months ago um and i've been meaning to do like a living room makeover video but i thought i would include it in this vlog show you some like before footage um kind of talk you through it um i don't know about you guys but those kind of like housey vlog videos are like my favorite things to watch um and then yeah and then i thought it'd also be a good time to do it because either today or tomorrow we are decorating a house for christmas um and then i thought by the time like january comes around it's going to be almost baby time so <laughs> i thought let's do the living room today and we'll go from there and then i thought i could just try and I'll just see what else I can vlog and show you some other bits and bobs. So I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I can't believe how long it is since I last did a vlog. I think I was trying to work out and I think it's definitely about three months ago, which is just crazy. I was absolutely convinced that I was going to do like weekly vlogs. Um, I honestly don't know where the time has gone. It feels like the past few months has just whizzed by. I cannot believe that I am in my third trimester. It's a little bit scary <laughs> if I'm honest because it just feels like we have so much left to do i mean we have most stuff ready for the baby now but it just i don't know it just feels like really like oh my god like things are just happening so quickly so um trying to not panic <laughs> i'm sure it'll be fine um so yeah everything is all good here i you probably will notice a bit of a difference in so this is like my bump right now. <laughs> um, I've got my dungarees on today because it means I mean business. I want to get a load of stuff done. Um, but yeah, I'll do like a proper maybe like bump update in the mirror a little bit later because it's a bit hard to see when I'm like sitting down. But yeah, here we go. Here is my bump. Um, but yeah, everything is all good and dandy. So yeah, just thought I would introduce the vlog. Just want to keep these super casual, super chilled out. Um, and we'll kind of see what happens. I think before I crack on with my cleaning, I'm going to have my first advent calendar. Um, so my mum, bless her, is super cute. She's done me this box and like, look at it. It's got little oranges on, which is so cute. Um, because I'd been like moaning, there was no chocolate orange advent calendars anywhere. Um, so she's done me a box and wrapped up a variety of like chocolate orange chocolates for me to have every day which is super super cute um so i think i'm gonna have this one and then let me show you something else really cute um so henry bless him also has done something very cute so he melted a terry's chocolate orange and popped it into the molds of this dairy milk <laughs> calendar so i had my own chocolate orange calendar but i've been having this one in the evening um to like savor it so um yeah i'll have this one this evening but so so cute and this is what i got in my advent calendar so i'm gonna eat this and then crack on okay so this is very exciting i ordered a new iphone to upgrade mine um because i've had mine since uh 2018 so it's about two and a half years old now and it's just like you know when the quality on them just goes so i ordered the iphone 12 pro i am literally so excited let's unbox it i have got a case coming for it today because it wasn't meant to be coming until next week oh my god it's so beautiful So I went for the gold one. Kind of looks quite silvery in this light. But yeah. Oh my goodness. That is stunning. 
Right, you ready for the, this is like the best bit, isn't it? It's like ASMR. God, so beautiful. I love it. Okay, so welcome to our living room. Um, hopefully this works okay and hopefully the lighting is okay, but I thought I would do a living room tour because we did take some footage of us, um, some very brief footage of us decorating and what it looked like before and I've been meaning to do this video for so long. So yeah, so this is our living room. So first things first, what I'll do is we will start off with the before footage. So I will insert that now. <laughs> Okay, so let's start over here. We've got a little sleeping Frank over here. Um, so yeah, so this hasn't really changed as much. It's still the same sofa. We got the sofa from Sofa Works a few years ago. I blimmin' love this sofa. Um, we had a really small sofa for quite a long time in our old houses, and I feel like I will never take for granted um, a, like, big sofa ever again like I literally am so grateful for the sofa like every day um so yes yeah, so this is our sofa and what I tend to do is just kind of put lots of blankets and cushions on it and then we have our coffee table um which is from Wafer I literally got it this time last year actually um it does the job it's not amazing quality it's like a fake marble on the top and there is like a couple of like scratches on it but it totally does the job I wanted like a marble effect coffee table that didn't cost the earth and I feel like that does that. And I've just got this uh, white company book, this mirror tray from Primark Home, some flowers from Home Sense, and this candle from YR Studio, I think. Um, it's like smells of like linen. It's amazing, it's so, so nice. Um, I'm trying to get into more like soy wax candles. I have got a Yankee candle burning, but that's because I kind of wanted to use it up, I didn't want to just, um, I have actually given away a lot of my Yankee candles to like family and friends, um, but I've only got a little bit left so I've been like keeping that, but I'm trying to get more into like natural soy candles because I think they're a bit better for you. Um, so yeah, so this is like the coffee table and sofa area, and then let's go over to the fireplace. Okay, so this area here is probably where we had the biggest transformation. Hopefully you can't see the mess behind me because the dining room is a bit of a mess. That's not my next thing to do. Um, so yeah, so we kind of had really dark grey on these two walls here, and then we had a dark grey brick wallpaper on this wall, and it did make the room quite dark. Um, so we wanted to brighten it up a little bit, but we still wanted a kind of feature wall. So we decided to go for the light grey and navy. Um, so yes, yeah, so we decided to go for navy. So this colour is called Vents. It's from the B&Q Home, uh, their own range of paint. And then the light grey is called Hampton or the Hamptons, I think. Um, so yeah, so I feel like it all kind of ties in really nicely and I'm quite happy of how it all came out. Um, so the pictures are from Decenio. I worked with them a couple of years ago and I got them as part of the campaign and the gold frames, I absolutely love the gold frames like so, so much. And then we've gone for like a gold kind of theme with the uh, fireplace. Um, so the actual fireplace itself is a beam from traditionalbeams.com. Um, I think that's what they're called, I'll link it down below, but we wanted a floating fireplace because we did just have a kind of mantle piece before, which we covered in white contact paper, but when we popped it up against the navy, I just said to Henry, it looks cheap, I do not like it. Um, so I went on to Pinterest and I really liked the idea of having like the floating beam and I'm super, super happy with this. I feel like it's just opened up the space like when you look at the old pictures, I feel like it feels like there was so much stuff and so cluttered. So I feel like this looks so much better. And I feel like it looks a lot more kind of like sophisticated. I don't know if that's right, but yeah, we're super, super happy. Um, so yes, yeah, so I absolutely love this. The candlesticks are from H&M Home. These are from H&M Home. I've just got some LED little tea lights in there. And then we've got this 
photo frame from Marks and Spencers. I was looking for gold photo frames for literally about two to three months and then finally Marks and Spencers came to the rescue. Um, and I've just printed out a picture of when we were in Canada because that is literally one of my like happiest memories ever. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so out of breath. This is like what pregnancy does to you. Um, and like you're talking, it's like, oh my God, I'm so out of breath, it's crazy. Okay, and then what else have we got? We have got some pampas grass down here, which I got from Little Deer. And then I got this in a vase from Ikea. Um, and then we just got some other random bits, some candles, another lantern, those kind of things. And then this big lantern here, I am not sure where it's from because we did get it as a wedding present. So not very helpful with that. I'm afraid. Okay, we come across to this side of the room and this is probably like really, really bad lighting. Um, but yeah, we've just kind of got all the TV unit here and we've just got some bits and bobs and I've just got my wax melt burner on the top. Um, and I'm currently loving the glass and wick wax melts. I am being a bit of a tease because you can order from their website now until January. They've cut their website off for Christmas, um, which is a shame, but they were just having so many orders, which is amazing. So yeah, so I am a bit of a tease, but definitely go and check them out when you can order again because they smell so, so good. And I've just got a mixture of like photo frames and candles and that kind of thing. So yeah, that is pretty much our living room. So yes, that is pretty much our living room. We are so, so happy with the results. Oh, also I haven't mentioned the carpet. Um, so yeah, so we had new carpets put in, which definitely has made a huge, huge difference because the carpets that were in here before, <laughs> bless them, they were just, they were just completely past it. Um, and there were some bits of the carpet where I think it had literally, it was literally like concrete. Um, so yeah, we've been wanting to do the carpets for so long. So we had the carpets in the living room, the upstairs hallway and the stairs all replaced. And we've gone for quite a gray plush carpet. It's so, so soft. We absolutely love it. So, yeah, this is our living room. Hope you've enjoyed the little tour. Um, if I have forgotten to say where anything is from, which I probably have, please let me know because I can definitely let you know and I'll try and link everything down below. But um, yeah, we're gonna obviously decorate for Christmas this weekend. So it's all gonna be changed and it's all gonna be Christmassy. So I will do a Christmas uh, living room tour probably in the next vlog. Um, like I said, I wanna keep these vlogs quite short and sweet if I can. So yeah, so that is our living room. And I am gonna go now, hope you're all good. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini vlog. Hello, it's me from the future. So, um, sorry, that was really cringe, wasn't it? I'm just editing the vlog that you're watching and I didn't finish it off properly because I think I was thinking I potentially might do some more vlogging, but I did not. So this is a goodbye. I hope you enjoyed seeing our living room tour. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you very soon for my next vlog.